Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a non-farm payroll Friday. First day of February. January 2019 in the books. Here we go with February. Should be quiet this morning, obviously. Um, all the main focus is on um, this non-farm number. I do want to mention, though, that we have all of these PMIs coming out of Europe. Europe has been sucking the duck uh, as far as, you know, economic releases. We had um, Germany just shit the bed yesterday, retail sales, Italy's in recession. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to blather on about this. We talked about it on Twitter yesterday, but if we do get uh, some negative numbers out of these PMIs, which I think we probably do, you know, Euro Yen, Core Euro Yen shorts makes a lot of sense to us. So I don't think it's going to be outlandish to any kind of move, but you just want to be paying attention to your Euro Yen position. Uh, 945 to 10 o'clock. Swiss time. All these PMIs are coming out. Manufacturing PMIs, obviously the German one is um, is the most important. What else is going on? Uh, they window dress stocks up to 27.12 last night. I mean, ridiculous, right? Uh, let's chuck this ES chart up here. This is obviously the 200 day 2740. My colleagues in America on Twitter um, are incredibly ready to sell. Uh, I think he said the living crap out of this. I think he can start building on shorts now. Um, I don't I don't think the market has this right. I think we get a strong number today. Bonds will go down, rates will go up, stocks will go down. Oil had a vicious turn. How about that oil market? My, my. Drove me kind of insane yesterday as we were trading at 55.30. Um, tough market. And I'm a tourist in the oil market. I trade it maybe five times a year. So I... I don't have much for chops uh, when it comes to trading oil, but I don't know what this is there a piece of news or I don't even know what happened, but 55.20 all the way down to 53.60. Uh, wow, no lube. No lubrication on that move. That was just uh, powerful. Anyway, uh, let's go back to currencies. Yuri and Short we like. Uh, this is our main theme for today, certainly for the morning. And as we get into non-farms, uh, obviously the average hourly earnings is the most important here. There will be some question whether the shutdown has affected non-farms. I don't think it will. I don't think it would have because the shutdown was the very end of December when it began. Um, but the headline number I think, uh, as always, is, is going to be only important if it's a huge miss. So let's say we're expecting 185 today. Uh, I think, you know, above 300 and below 100 are the misses. And as we talked about yesterday, above 300, we are going to sell euro because the euro looks sick to us. Um, you could buy dollar yen, but I think stocks are going to go down. I think euro is your horse. And if this is massively weak, uh, you either buy, you buy Aussie or you sell, um, sell dollar yen. Uh, and again, we're going to have to wait and see where things are in about six hours time so let's not uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves focus this morning is euro yen uh, I have to say well I'll just mention a couple other things Boons it's fucking outlandish where they are now 
or course short suffering on this in the long term book. We did print sort of a bearish engulfing there that last hour, but if you look at the yield and boons, I know um, I know Germany screwed and and uh, Europe is not looking great, but Boone's yielding 15 basis points. This is um, this is getting very very silly, uh, and as this heads towards zero, you really have to think about long term structures because negative yields on a 10 year on 10 year paper in Europe. Um, is going to get a lot of political pushback. Um, a lot of pension funds are going to, you know, get upset. All the savers in Germany are going to be wringing their hands. So keep an eye on this space. Um, our long-term book of short boons getting slapped right now, but just pointing that out. Uh, and let's go to the U.S. bond market. Kind of the same story. 30 years are now yielding just around 3%. Just seems to be getting a little bit out of hand, this dovishness to me. Obviously, you don't want to just sell this willy nilly. Uh, 148, sort of one, 149 looks like the big, big resistance up there. So if you're looking to get short uh, this long-term stuff, that'll be a 290 yield if we get up there. So on the fixed income side, uh, we're looking left-hand side. We've definitely timed the booms wrong. We do have a nice average because we've been trading it, but got to call a spade a spade, right? Part of our job is to time shit right um, and not just scramble to get back to break even. But anyway, something to think about. This stuff looks mildly mispriced to me. And again, if we get a boomer today, fixed income is going to um, head back towards the mean. Anyway, I've said enough. There's not a whole lot to do uh, on these pre-non-farm mornings. Let's keep an eye on Euro Yen. And uh, I'll pop onto Twitter, obviously, before the number to really drill down and, and figure out what um, what looks tasty for some profits. Good luck out there, people. I will talk to you later on Twitter. Ciao.